show you guys how to make a uh, lemon powered battery first you need of course lemons we have some copper and we have some zinc just galvanized steel it's just zinc coated copper a test meter for testing our voltage we have a LED we have a little watch bat a watch from a dollar store watch and we have a calculator and we're gonna try and power all of them up so first I'm gonna take one of our lemons and uh, plug in a piece of copper the other side piece of zinc I mean and the other side copper so this is going to act like our anode and our cathode this is our cathode, this is our anode. The, elect the electrons was, is flowing this way, in through the copper and out through the zinc. And just to prove I'm, uh, I'm telling you, so we go negative, positive, we got uh, some voltage, but we should get about 0.9. There we go, 0.91 volts. So we're not quite a volt. That's not enough to power our clock or our little watch or our LED so we're gonna have to go two if we want to power our watch or our calculator we need to go two so there we go we got another copper zinc and let's see if we're getting any voltage off of here and let's see 0.9 there we go so we plug them together we should get 1.8 so we're gonna grab one of the leads and go from copper to zinc. You can see that. We got it on the first contact is to the zinc and to the copper. And now what we've done is hooked them up and now we should have doubled the voltage. And we, if we touch them there, if everything is good. The voltmeter is working, but there we go. 1.5, 1.7. Here we go, 1.82. Okay. <clears throat> and even if I directly touch the red and the zinc, it's easier to hook it up with it. So we'll take one of our leads and we'll hook one to copper. And we'll hook one to negative. up to our calculator and turn it on there we go we got a zero so five five six 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 times two equals eleven three three two so we know that it works I don't know if you can see it there you go and there we go so we know that we can get calculator working with two lemons let's try and get the little clock working with two lemons we'll hook the black to black see I got the wires let's do this right so you guys can get a proper representation so we're gonna hook the black to the proper black so again the electrons are actually flowing this way they're gonna come out here and uh, that's the circuit so we hooked red up to the little one and black to this one and my clock should come on but the wire in the back is not the best here we go here we go 12 o'clock what did it stop watch here we go can you see the clicking So we can run the clock, we can run the calculator, but it won't run the LED. We have the LED, an LED and it's in a little case, tape black, but I know that it won't work. What we need to make that go is all four lemons running. So we're going to go one in each, one in each, 
So now we have four batteries connected. So we'll go, let's go to turn this one around. And then we'll go with uh, anode to cathode. This way, I'm just using the wires that are handy. We'll leave both color coding, and then we'll go with black one off of here. And now we'll see if uh, our connection is good. And we'll see what our voltage is going to read. So we hooked the black lead to the black terminal, and the red to the red. And there we go. We have 3.67 volts out of the four lemons. We'll unhook the terminals. We'll grab our LED. We'll hook the black to black. Our red to red, and as you see, I got it hooked up wrong. So I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna go black to there, red to here. And okay, so now that we have our uh, really light wired up, I'm gonna show you what else you can do with it. You can see our light still lit, and I'm going to make a variable resistor. So on a piece of paper, draw yourself a square, kind of like this, and uh, color it in really good. Make it dark. There we go. Darker the better. Color it in deep and dark. This is going to be our variable resistor. So now we got ourselves a nice dark pencil line on the paper. And uh, in a second, I'm going to show you how this works. I've never tried it, but we'll see how it works. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our light and place it, put the one contact on this side, and we're going to put the other contact here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can't see, but there's a glow. And as we move it closer, we, it should brighten up. There we go. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm going to do this. And we'll take a red lead. And we're going to stick it here. And as you can see, I'm going to turn off the lights and give you a better view of that. Here we go, full lighting. See, you see the dot? I touch it there again, and here we go. I don't know if you can very see it very well. There it is, right in the middle of the screen. There's my variable resistor.